Love Island 2020 is soon upon us and that the some of the cast have now been revealed and now it seemed to be a lineup of rumored people as well. So I thought I'd do a full video of discussing who we have potentially that is going to be in this cast. Hey guys, it's Moran Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Back at it again in this cabin chat. I don't know where I am, but maybe one day I'll find out. This place in Paris. Um the reason why I think we book this place because normally you, when you see me abroad in places I'm really in like prestige places or whatever like let me not even try to my own horn but obviously the place was very cheap and very central so though it's, that in itself is great features because when you're traveling and you're in places you're hardly within your own hotel you're normally traveling around and it helps to push that narrative as well for you so you're only out and about so it helps you to explore the city skin glowing please skin routine shall I shall I share, shall I share it with you guys please skin routine wow spots where blemishes where Wow, just, oof. I'm looking, I need to just, this is too much. Um, follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also wish everybody a happy new year as well. Hopefully you guys have a great New Year's Eve plans wherever you guys are. And obviously my birthday is coming up. The 4th of January is my house party and the 5th is my birthday. Can't wait. Um, but let me get into this anyway, because there seems to be a lineup now. When there are lineups, uh, to me, it becomes quite interesting. But we're trying to get into this and see who is. So the first contestant that's obviously been revealed as a lineup person is Alicia LeMay, and the social media influencer. Here we go. 28 is being eyed up by Love Island bosses thanks to her impressive amount of followers and positive attitudes towards body image. Alicia is exactly the type of contestant ITV2 are looking for. She's gorgeous, body, confident, and isn't afraid to be herself. An insider told the Mail Online. She already works as an influencer and has collaborated with brands like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, ASOS, which all become part and parcel of being a Love Island star. She's an advocate of body positivity and often admits on her Instagram to never want to be perfect which is an important message to young viewers of the show as well now the social media influencer part just irritates me i want a normal regular people not that influencers aren't regular people because even I, I could be considered a, a, an influencer content creator whatever you want to call me but at the same time i'm just like i'm sick and tired of this kind of narrative can we not have people that randomly just aren't known on social media aren't known on instagram it's just irritating we also have Sophie Piper, who I discussed a week or so ago. She obviously is Rochelle Hume's little sister, is now being linked to the upcoming winter series of the show. And Sophie is a dead ringer for Rochelle, and viewers will love the likeness. Hopefully they do. Rochelle isn't somebody that is immediately loved on the show, like loved in life. Like, okay, she's, she's a great presenter. She's cute. She works well with crowds, but she isn't loved. She's not like the nation's sweetheart. So this idea of let's get a sister in, she'll bang because she's related. I don't even know. But anyways, I've already discussed her before. The next person is Charles Drury. Having reportedly been approached for Love Island um, Series 5, the model Pete um, produces interest once more after he was thought to have shared a brief dalliance with former glamour model Katie Price. Dear Lord. He was approached last year but was seeing someone at the time, but now he's single. Producers called him up and asked him to be re-auditioned for the show. I feel like this, I don't know. I'm not really warming up to the cast's potential so far, but this was the same impression that we all had last year and look what happened. It was the best cast yet, so, you know, I don't even know. We also have Jane Monroe, um, the footballer turned model, is reportedly being eyed up by ITV producers from the brand New Winter series. Having previously been lined up for Love Island Series 5, Monroe was thought to have been held so he could cause sparks to fly the winter version of the show. It wouldn't be Monroe's first time on TV. Here we go again, guys. With the Glasgow native having landed a job on the Australian version of The Voice earlier this year. Jay's will be the one all the girls will be chasing. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Anyways, next person is Ellis. I think I've mentioned this guy as well in a previous video ages ago. Um, he was a first rumored islander, that's probably why. And the fitness instructor model seems to be a perfect Love Island follower, having posed for ASOS, Nike, and JD Sports. The lead native was reportedly headhunted for the series, according to The Sun. Ellis is of the moon about it. He said sworn to secrecy. Apparently, he's already denied it. So, this I find to be very confusing. Um, he added, My lord, whoever um, sold this fake S, hope you made your money. So yeah, that's apparently what he said, and he has reflected that these rumours are completely rubbish. But a lot of people say this, and the next thing you know, they're in the villa shining their teeth. So who even knows? Next person is Ken and Goma. Um, but we've actually think I've seen him on The Apprentice this year. Ken has been tipped to enter the Love Island villa after saying to the mirror, entering the ITV show was on his to-do list. And then he put a very suspicious tweet saying Love Island season two with eyes. Um, I don't know. That to me, is, I don't see him being on the show. I don't feel like it fits him. I feel like you were just on The Apprentice. 
relax, calm down. But this is obviously the rumored collective bunch, but of course there are many more people that are meant to go, meant to go in in the beginning as well. So this particular cast lineup, I'm not really entirely warming to it. I'm just not. I don't think it's that great, but obviously hopefully we are, there are gonna be great potentials. And of course, remember when, we, when I was doing a lineup last video, um, I spoke about Amber who's in that video as well. I think also Sophie Piper. I didn't even think that Amber would even win the show. So the winner could be in literally this video. Who even knows? It's scary, these type of shows, how literally you are a nobody or, or an influencer or whatever, and then you're catapulted into this temporary, keyword temporary success. And it's just so scary. And suddenly you're just that B and nobody wants to be with you. But it's like, they only want to be with you because you are in love with it. Like you were known before. It's just weird. It's just like a weird kind of Black Mirror-esque kind of whole situation. Um, anyways, let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this lineup video. Stress, man, using my damn shoe. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. What are your thoughts? Are you guys here for this cast or not? Do you guys like them? Do you guys like them? Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button for daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.